back, welcome back to Learning TV. Welcome back, welcome back to Learning TV. Good morning on this beautiful Monday. Oh my God. My kids only got a half a day of school today, but I gotta go to work. So grandparents or somebody gonna be picking them up from school. But anyway, let's get into this reaction, honey. Let's get up to it. My daddy life, my jacked up life, my need to mind my own business, Jasmine. Did you not learn your lessons the first time when you were defending a female and they baby daddy and they family problem? Like, yes, I watched the video with Jasmine, went live, watching this for almost an hour, um, talking about Olivia's situation for what I do not know. Like, why are you talking about, like, girl, okay, she showed you the messages, she showed you um, the schedule or whatever. Listen, what advice did you give Olivia? You didn't give Olivia no advice. It's called get an attorney and it's called file for emotion in the hearing. It's basically what it's called. He's not corroborating. Jasmine, shut up and mind your business. I'd have told you to shut up and mind your business. Once again, you, you defended somebody that, girl, like, let, let me tell y'all the difference between Olivia and, and Jasmine. Let, let, me, let me just get this on out the way real quick. First of all, I've never seen Olivia put her hands on her kids or, like, beat them or lock them in the room or told them they wasn't going to get nothing to eat. I don't never really hear Olivia's kids come live and say that they were hungry and they starving. But Jasmine... We could say shit all day long. You feel me? You did. So, I don't know if that's necessarily true. Olivia did kind of confirm the things that on the papers, the allegations that Gerard made towards her, uh, I guess, were true. So, some the court papers are true. And I don't want to speak on that. I didn't want to, you know, do a reaction on that. Yeah, I read it, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know because Gerard and Olivia have been together for seven years. Okay, so let me let me break it down for you. Gerard and Olivia have been together for seven years, right? And they got married, and that's, the way they ran their household is the way they ran their household. So if you know you give your kids a certain punishment, and, okay, now y'all done got into it, now y'all getting divorced, and you use it against her in court, but you was with her for seven years, so you kind of know what Olivia does by disciplining her kids. I don't think y'all understand. I don't know. So, it, of course, Gerard would know because still I've been with Olivia for seven years. So, you know, I, I, I mean, that's, I, I, that's all I can say. Like, that kind of is somewhat, is kind of fucked up. I'm not even going to lie. But, you know, when it comes down to the person who's spilling the tea, uh, flee, flee. Uh, she really don't got no room to talk about nobody. Kids been taken, neglection. She can't say nothing when she literally gave her kids up. She didn't fight for them. She literally gave them up. So I don't really condone that. Cause it's like, girl, how you gonna put somebody's receipts out when this? You don't have none of your kids. Like you don't have. You got one child. One. And you gave the rest of them away. You don't know who your baby dad is. Like, that's, that's what I'm really saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I cannot. I, I cannot. I will not. Like, girl, like, how can you just sit up on your platform and just, who told your story? Who's giving you the tea? Um, Olivia lost her kid dealing with Zola. Now, Jasmine, since you want to sit up here and defend Olivia, when is you going to tell Olivia to let Zolo see his son? Ah, wait. When is you going to tell Olivia to let Zolo see his son? Ah, wait. And I don't know why this rumor keeps going around that Olivia doesn't have a baby or the baby is not hers. Um, I do believe that's Olivia's baby. Did y'all see the pregnancy picture she took with her kids before her kids left and went to Texas with their dad? Olivia was pregnant. Oh, belly pregnant. 
So, I don't know. I don't know why that rumor keeps coming about. I do believe Olivia had a baby. Um, it's fucked up. Olivia responded and basically said, you know, she don't care. But Olivia, yes, you do care. And uh, it's time to be honest about everything. Yes, you do care because you already confirmed that you was crying yesterday, I believe. When the whole tobacco came, not yesterday, what should I say? Well, today is Monday, so, well, Sunday. You confirmed that you were upset. You confirmed that you were sad. You confirmed it all. So don't sit up and say you don't care. You do care. You care, but you're right. Nobody can tell you about your kids and how they feeling or what they going through because we don't know them like that. And for the ones that said, like, why would you post Robin on, uh, because I can because I can, and I wasn't being hurtful. I was shocked what Robin said. I was a reactor, and I was, and I told y'all I was speechless about what Robin said, and I posted, and I didn't know the bitch was gonna go and get as many views as it did, but it did, but it wasn't to hurt Olivia. Like, the fuck I look like hurting Olivia? The hell? Y'all weird. But anyway, Dad, Jasmine needs to mind her business because who's MIA once again? Chris. Nowhere to be found. Jasmine hooping and hollering. I don't know what you hooping and hollering for. You talking about some baby number six and you can't even handle what you already got. Girl, shut up. Shut up. Like, for real. Shut your ass up. Uh, Olivia confirmed that she got enough rooms and enough beds for her and her kids. So, Olivia got a bigger house. Congratulations if she did. But all Olivia got to do is get an eternity and file for a, a motion and a hearing. That's all you got to do. If you really, really want your kids back. And I kind of feel bad because I read the part where they said um, something about the drug test that uh, Olivia, you know, was caught with weed in her system. But I know, you know, that's, that's the stupidest thing. Like, that is dumb. Like, I'm, it's illegal where I'm at. I'm not sure where it's illegal everywhere else, but we can smoke here. So that is dumb. I, I feel like that's messed up. Like that is, if that's all she had in her system was we girl, get that girl back her kids. But I don't know. Y'all said she was abused. I've never seen Olivia abuse them kids. I'm not going to sit on my platform and say I did because I did not. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is. Olivia is now in Texas, so it should be easy for her to file papers even faster if she really, 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 really want her kids back. That's all I got to say. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.